It's March Madness, and the markets are just mad. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. And uh, quite the strange day we had in the, in the markets. It was all over the place. Dow was the strongest. Russell was the weakest. S&P and NASDAQ were kind of floating back and forth in between. Just a real strange day as we tried to run up and they came down and they broke and they rallied and they broke. But in the meantime, the markets were Dow strong, Russell weak, uh, S&P and NASDAQ in the middle plus or minus. Again, it just, that's how they kind of traded all day long. Not a lot going on. You know, I guess everybody's watching the, the tournaments and going and see what's going on. But again, this is again, very consistent action with a market top. This is what you expect to see. These, some of these volatile swings, some of the action that takes place is very natural. I, I see nothing that, that would disturb me from saying that the top is in the market. I think you saw a big move up in the dollar. Again, that, that's something that we've been watching for. And again, a little bit farther, and I think that will also put some real pressure on the Federal Reserve and the central banks around the world. This, this dollar is gonna be the key trade. This is, we're, 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 we're stating it here, that that will be the black swan event if the dollar starts to take off. And, and I think that's what you're starting to see here. Bonds were on both sides of unchanged, finished a little bit positive. Uh, oil was uh, on both sides of unchanged, a little bit positive. Gold under pressure again. Again, the gold market in, in real solid consolidation. But the one thing that looks like it looks like it wants to trend lower with inside that consolidation. So I wouldn't be surprised of a breakdown down below 1300. Right now we're on 1315. Let's see what happens. And, and again, I, I'm not going to I wouldn't be a seller here either way. I'm not going to sell the bottom or, you know, or where it should bounce from. But it's something to keep an eye on. And I wouldn't get nervous about it. I think gold's going to be very positive as we go forward. But for right now, I think you've got some issues to deal with. And we'll see how those play out. Uh, the beans and, or beans were higher. The rest of the grains were a little bit lower. Wheat came down to our 40 target and bounced. So that was a pretty, a pretty good look. And, of course, if you're along the meats, we need the Heimlich maneuver because we're choking on this beef. And I, actually, the cattle's not that bad. It's just circulating back and forth. But hogs continue to get slaughtered. Uh, We'll have to see what goes on. We're going to have to make a decision here if they break through 65. That, that, that would be my exit point if, if that does happen, but we'll have to watch and see what happens tomorrow. In the meantime, uh, Bitcoin remains under a little bit of pressure, and I think there's a little bit more downside there. And then I start to look to be a buyer if you play in that cryptocurrency space. I think they're just under a little bit of undue pressure here. But the big picture, the big story is this. We've got Kudlow now in the White House, which is a, a, him and Trump are on opposite sides of the tariff spectrum. But obviously they had a conversation. So we know that Trump is using this as a as a bargaining chip and he'd bring in Kudlow because he wants to be able to get out of it easily. At the end of the day, he's going to squeeze. And I think Kudlow agrees to, to put the pressure on those who need pressure and that those are going to need tariffs. And well, we, may, we may see some tariffs. I don't think that's a big deal, but that's something to look forward to. I think that the, the, end of the, the end of the picture is very simple. Okay, the markets have, I think, peaked. Now, it doesn't mean we're not going to turn around. We're not going to dance around here. There's a lot of things that are going on. But don't be surprised, you know, if we turn around, turn around, and all of a sudden you see a whack. And I think that's what we're kind of looking for here is, is for a market to, to make another leg to the downside like we saw a few weeks ago. We've been turning around. Uh, and we're about due for another little beat down here. So let's see how it trades out again. The, the key is to be patient and observe the market and find the right spot. Again, selling the resistance. For example, today, when the Dow was up 150, 200, that was a good spot to take a look into. It was right up against resistance. Those are things that are very consistent in markets. And again, if you're using good discipline, it gives you a much better chance. So let's see what it looks like tomorrow. In the meantime, we do have the NCAAs and uh, pretty exciting games. The Oklahoma, Rhode Island went to, went to overtime. And in the meantime, our one pick for tonight is we like Michigan against Montana. Hail to the victors. And, of course, this is Bubba's Daily Update. Don't forget to check out highschoolinvesting.com. And if you'd like to help us out, you go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com, forward slash Bubba Trading. And, of course, don't forget to get the Bubba Show every day at 4 to 5 Eastern at libertytalk.fm. Have a great day, everybody. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you over the weekend with Bubba's Bot Online. And we'll see you back with Bubba's Daily Update on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy the tournament. We'll see you later.